Hello, this is Jonathan with iVolatility, and in today's iVolatility short, I will demonstrate how to pull up multiple stock monitor tabs within iVol Live. As you can see, I've just logged into my platform. I'll go ahead and skip ahead from the dashboard to the iVol Live tab. What this will do is it will pull up, if you've just joined us, it will be the default tabs here along the top. Uh, if you've been with us a while, it's going to have whatever you've pulled up to research in the past. Uh, you can see here is our default stock monitor tab. Then there's the charts tab. And then in my particular case, uh, I've been studying the SPY, the VIX, TLT, Exxon, Walgreens, Cisco, Apple, uh, IWM, um, as well as a couple biotech names. Now let's say that I wanted to add a stock monitor tab or, or even better, let's say that I accidentally clicked that X and deleted the stock monitor tab. Well, what would I do? Come over here to the plus icon. This drop down menu will allow me to pick a stock monitor, futures monitor, charts. We also have some defaults here for our most popular search terms. But if I wanted to just stick to the stock monitor, I can hit stock monitor. This will pull up the default view of the stock monitor. You could click and drag it if you like it over here on the far left as the first thing you see. Uh, you could have multiple stock monitors going at the same time. Uh, this is something that our users will frequently do if they want to run uh, different scans. So for an example, if I pull this one over here, I can run this scan. You see DJX, we're defaulting uh, against the grouping of all the Dow Jones names here, starting with Apple uh, in alphabetical order. Let's say on this stock monitor tab, I wanted to run scans against a different group. I could sc scroll through here. Here's custom groups that I've already created. Uh, and then there's also our defaults, which is a wide universe ranging from US, European, Asian, uh, and multiple indices. I can come here to S&P 500, run that scan, and here we are. So now I've got two different stock monitor tabs uh, running scans against two different groups. I could, again, if I accidentally X'd out of both of those, I could simply pull those back up by hitting that plus icon coming here to stock monitor, hitting add, and there we go. Stock monitor's back, and from here, I can run all these different scans. I can create custom scan, uh, custom column settings. I can create new groups, uh, all within the stock monitor tab, and then you could have as many stock monitor tabs as you'd like, simply by repeating that process. This has been Jonathan with Ivo Live Shorts. Happy trading.